Hi everyone, I'm Chico from the YMCA. Today, we've partnered with Participation to bring you an amazing strength training workout. On the left is Lisa, who will be providing us with some seated variations. And on the right is Gemma, who will be showing us some more complex variations. Strength training is a great way to make your muscles and joints stronger. It's also wonderful for increasing your bone mineral density. For today's workout, we'll be using nothing more than a pair of dumbbells. We're gonna invite you to take this workout at your own pace and at your own level and have lots of fun along the way. We're gonna get started with our warm up, so just make sure that your training area is free from any tripping hazards and let's go. March it out. Nice, tall, proud posture. Bring those knees up, but land softly here. Keeping the shoulders back. Nice, steady, consistent march. We're gonna take this wide together in three, two, one. Don't break stride, team. Just widen that stance. Sending the leg to the back of the room with a forward reach. Three, two, one, go. Big toe touches the ground. Send those hands my way. We're reaching back. Next, we're gonna reach forward and cross the arms. Together, team. Three, two, one, go. Bending that knee a little bit. Getting that knee joint nice and warm. Squeezing the chest, all good things. A series of rotations coming up. Do your absolute best to stay with us. In three, two, one, let's go. You'll notice the hips and the heels are rotating. How you guys doing back home? This is our horizontal pattern. Together, we're gonna go vertical. Three, two, one, let's go vertical. Wonderful exercise here. We got some rotation at the hips, torso. We're gonna add one more pattern. We're gonna take it downwards. Three, two, one, let's go down. Turn the hips, press down to the floor. These three are so fun. We're gonna do them all once more each. Back to your horizontal, three, Two, one, let's go. Can you maybe add a little bit of speed and cadence here? Just a bit. Gemma, how are things back there? Ooh, great. Nice. Vertical, three, two, one, up we go. Stretch those lats. Lisa, how are you doing? All good, all good. Beautiful. Let's close out these three with our downward. Three, two, one, send it down. Let's add a little bit more knees here. Everyone's doing wonderful. We have one more exercise. Three, two, one, let's stand up. Deep breath. We're gonna get our feet underneath our hips. We're gonna sit back into a squat, nice and slow, sending those hands back. We're gonna come up all as one. Inhale on the way down. <sighs> Exhale, stand tall. I will show you from the side. Yeah, loading up those legs like springs and then press your feet into the floor. Final three reps. One last one, and job well done. Now that our bodies are nice and warm, we're gonna begin with our three upper body exercise circuit, which will be using a pair of dumbbells. And if you wish, you can certainly add a mat as we will be going down to the floor. Our first exercise, Gemma and I will be bringing it down to the floor for a push up, and Lisa will be remaining on her chair. So please choose what you feel is appropriate. I'm gonna provide you with a demo of my push-up from the modified position. My weight is on the lower part of my thighs, not on my kneecaps, and my hands are directly underneath 
my shoulders. We lower the body as one unit and then we press it right back up. So we're gonna get started in three, two, one. Deep breath, brace that core, exhale, push your hands into the ground. So we have three incredible options here. All that work, the chest, some of the shoulder, and some triceps. Nice job, team. Quality over quantity. Make these the best they can be. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Nicely done. Let's make it back up to our feet. Let's grab our pair of dumbbells for an overhead press. We'll start with the dumbbells resting on the front of our shoulder. Core is braced. Slight bend in the knee. We're going to inhale, exhale, push the weight straight up. We want those biceps to finish right beside the ear. Careful not to overarch the lower back. Relax the neck. Let the shoulders do all the work. Five seconds to go. One last rep. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Move number three, targeting the triceps. We're gonna pull the weights in and we're gonna extend the arms. Tricep kickback. So here, we are isolating the elbow joint. But because of our position, the legs are getting a nice workout. The core is getting a nice workout. Control the weights. We have five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna repeat that one more time. So grab your mats again. We're gonna make our way down to the floor for the push-up. Hopefully by now you found a nice suitable variation. Hands under those shoulders, weight, resting your weight on the lower part of your thigh, not your knees, 30 seconds. Lisa, how are you doing? Good, good. Good, great job everyone. Two sets of these three exercises, meaning no more push-ups in five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, wonderful job, everyone. Safely pick up those dumbbells using your legs and your hips. Brace that core, soft bend in the knees. We're gonna inhale, exhale, press. Lots of control here. Take note, nice straight line from the top of the dumbbells all the way to the midfoot. How about seven seconds? And three, two, one, beautiful. Rest those dumbbells in front of your thighs. Let's hip hinge our way down, one row to get the arms in place. And then we're gonna extend those dumbbells. Okay. Be careful here not to come all the way forward. We're gonna stop right here at 90 and we're gonna extend the weights back. Ooh, you can really feel that in the back of those arms. Five seconds. One to two more nice reps. Three, two, and one. Outstanding job. Circuit number one is in the books. We are gonna move on now to the lower body. Three more exercises. Starting off with a goblet squat. So again, you have a chair version and you have a slightly more complex version. But here's what we're looking for. A nice slow descend. And then we're gonna push through our heels to stand up nice and tall, okay? Maintaining a nice neutral spine all the way through. Ready? Three, two, one, follow me. Exhale, push. Wonderful full body exercise. You can feel those thighs getting stronger. We're gonna balance our way all the way down 
evenly distributing your weight through your heel and then press your feet into your floor. Stand tall, stand proud. We have 10 seconds to go. And three, two, one. Whew. Really good exercise for the front of the thigh. Let's target the back now. I'm gonna grab my second dumbbell. We're gonna do an exercise here for the back of the legs where we take these weights and we slide them down our thigh until they cross the knee and then we push the hips forward, okay? So let's get those feet underneath our hips, a soft bend in the knee, and then we're gonna squeeze the glutes on the way up. So sliding those hands down your thigh, keeping a nice, beautiful, neutral spine. Press those feet into the floor, squeeze the glutes. You really feel a nice stretch on the way down in those hamstrings. How about two more reps? Looks very nice, last one. Perfect, shake it out. We're gonna finish our circuit with some calf raises for the lower leg. So we're gonna stand nice and tall, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then let's put the weight evenly throughout the balls of our feet. Yeah. Lift those heels off the ground and then slowly control them down. How's it feel? Nice and slow on the way down. We have 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. One time through and my legs were already feeling it. So we're gonna go right back to the top for our goblet squat. So we've set one dumbbell down on the floor. Let's get those feet in a nice, comfortable, safe position, about hip width apart. We're gonna inhale. We're gonna brace that core. We're gonna descend smoothly. Up we go. Gemma, what's your favorite exercise? This one. Nice. Lisa? I'm liking this one too. Ooh. I feel obligated now to say the same thing. I love squats. So many benefits. Nice job, team. It looks good. Challenging those legs, the hips, the core. Keep your form consistent from rep one all the way to the end. I know our legs are tired. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Whew. Moving on to those deadlifts. So I'm gonna grab both dumbbells. I'm gonna rest them on my thighs. We're gonna put the shoulder blades together. Let's hinge our way down. Careful not to round that back. And then we're gonna come up, squeeze the glutes. Feel a wonderful stretch on the back of the upper leg, on the way down, and then squeeze at the top. We finish here. Five seconds, and then we get those calf raises done. Three, two, and one. Proud shoulders, proud posture. Squeeze those dumbbells, and let's shift our weight forward onto the balls of our feet. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, relax that neck. I'll show you from the side. We're pushing the weight evenly throughout the balls of our feet. And controlling our speed both on the way up and on the way down. Lots and lots of quality tension in the lower leg. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two, and one, nicely done. My legs are exhausted. How are yours feeling? <laughs> Fortunately, we get to move on back to the upper body and we're gonna sprinkle in some core. 
So for the first exercise, I'm gonna grab a pair of dumbbells and I will be remaining on my feet for a bent over row. Gemma's gonna take it up a notch. She'll be taking it down to the floor and doing a slightly more complex exercise. And Lisa's got your back from that chair. Let's hinge into position. Three, two, one. We're gonna pull the dumbbells to the rib cage, keeping those arms nice and tight. Palms are facing each other. A wonderful, wonderful exercise to develop a strong back. How about five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. You guys used your mat. If you wanna have it on hand, we're gonna make our way back down to the floor for a wonderful, wonderful core exercise. Starting with our hands directly above our shoulders and our legs directly above our hips. We're gonna press down through the belly button, through the midsection, so that we eliminate an excessive arch from our back, okay? We're gonna inhale, extend the arms overhead, slowly extend the leg, exhale, return. Let's do the opposite leg. You can feel that low back wanting to give out an arch as your limbs travel. Don't let it happen. <sighs> nice job, everyone. One of my favorite, one of my go-to core exercises. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Oh. Got a really nice burn there in the lower abs. Third and final. We're gonna go to the back again, but now we're gonna focus on the back of those shoulders. Okay, same starting position, but we're gonna do a raise, okay? This is called a reverse fly. Wonderful move for the back of those shoulders. Okay, soft bend in the elbows, controlling the weight, and not just letting gravity win. Okay, we don't want them to come down too quickly. Squeeze those back muscles. Gemma's alternating her legs. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up tall, just to give the lower back a break, because we're gonna go right back to those rows. So when you're ready, we start from the top of the shop, tilt those hips again, Inhale, brace your core, and pull. Squeeze those back muscles. Wonderful, wonderful exercise, especially after those push-ups we did earlier. We gotta get a stronger back. It's so important for good posture. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Why do I like bent over rows? Because my legs are also working, supporting my posture. Okay, dead bug. One more time, let's finish strong, team. Here we go. Very important, let's get into position. Brace that midsection. Deep breath, let's go. Lisa's chair variation is a wonderful, wonderful exercise. Gemma's moving both of her legs, which makes it a little bit more demanding for that midsection. Lisa, can you hang in there for five? Sure can. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Give me one moment while I co collect my, my breaths. Ooh. Okay. Grab those dumbbells. We're gonna finish this workout with an excellent set of bent over lateral raises. Three, two, one. My friends are in position. Let's execute. Okay. As excited as you are to almost be done your session, 
We have to maintain form all the way through. Safety, safety, safety. Back of the shoulders are feeling it. A couple more good reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Outstanding job, my friends. No amazing workout is complete without an amazing cool down. So we're gonna make our way down to the floor and then work our way back up. If you wanna grab your mats, by all means. So we're starting in the half kneel position. We're gonna flatten out that heel and we're just gonna transfer our weight forward, ensuring that this heel remains flat on the floor. You feel that wonderful stretch in the back hip flexor? It's really important to stretch and to recover after a workout so that you're prepared for your next session. So here, it's okay to have the knee past the toe in this scenario because we're stretching. And slowly make your way out of the stretch. Very important to note that when we're stretching, we want to ease into every stretch and we want to ease out of every stretch. So lying on your side, we're going to reach for our shoe, our ankle, sock or pant leg. And we're going to give a gentle tug back behind the body to stretch out this quad. We did a lot of squats today, so this one should feel really, really nice. And then slowly release making your way over to your other side. Lots and lots of deep breaths. Get that fresh air circulating throughout your body. Bringing our heart rate down, our breathing rate down. And ease our way out of that stretch. Our final one before we take it Back up to our feet will be a frog stretch. Really, really nice for the inner thigh, the groin, as well as the lower back and sides. We're gonna walk those hands out, pressing the palm flat on the floor, and you're gonna sink your weight back into your heels. And just breathe in and out. Slowly walk it in. We don't wanna to move too quickly, especially when we're going from the floor back up to our feet. Arms are open. This is my favorite stretch, first thing in the morning. So we're bringing that chin up, we're opening up the chest and the shoulders. Take those hands, take those arms, bring them up. We're gonna cross over to the left, and we're gonna lean to the left. Feel a nice stretch here along your right side. Slowly make your way over for our final hold of the day. And bring it back. On behalf of Lisa, Gemma, Myself, the YMCA and Participation, we would like to thank you so, so much for joining us in our strength training workout today. Remember, everything gets better when you get active.